So explain to us why you have skinny mutters, Henry. Why do you love your stupid skinny wheels? Because he stole them off the track. Do you want the nutshell version? Do you want the deep version? Yeah, he let's wanted stretch the wheels. Don't worry about the stretch. Um, <clears throat> the reason Oz Zones went to the skinny mud tire is because it was actually the right ratio for the gears. <laughs> it's a 31.7, and I was basically shooting 32. But a skinny mud tire cuts through to the bottom if there's a bottom. <laughs> I prefer the skinny mud tire. It's easier on the axle. It's easier to pick a line. It's cheaper tire. They're they're P mip, they're P tire, so they don't have the thick sidewall. So they do take a beating, but the cheapest ship. All of these tires were like 400 bucks ship. You can't beat that. I'll slice these things all day. The one downside to them, I must say, is it is harder to rip because they stick out. Not too bad, but enough that it it it, it rubs on your rim. Now they're on an eight inch. They should be on like a six or seven. Yeah, real skinny wheels, but they do work, and they're better for the gas mileage and everything. Cause I drive it every day. For me, they work great. They're not for everyone. Especially for <coughs> posers. Sorry. Hey, uh, speaking of posers, tell us more about this Rubicon okay, sticker. Okay, you went there. Um, <laughs> does this have? Does this have? What? Uh, what? What front diff do you have? You come back <laughs> up here. Um, long story short, I like the sticker. <laughs> I was working on making it a Rubicon, and I got the sticker first. 